Since the Highline's 2009 opening and subsequent success in revitalizing this part of the West Side, a few different projects in a similar vein of adaptive renewal spawning urban growth have sprung up. A three mile elevated track in Queens that once carried the Rockaway Beach Line has sat abandoned since the fire destroyed it in 1962. But hopes that a recreational space could be formed on this line have blossomed. From the High Line to the High Bridge near the Harlem River, plans are being made to restore the former viaduct for the Croton Aqueduct an oldest bridge in the city as a pedestrian path and greenway. And down the Lower East Side, the abandoned Williamsburg Bridge Railway Terminal, an abandoned 66,000 square foot streetcar station adjacent to the Essex and Delancey Street Station, has led preliminary planning for the Low Line by Delancey Underground, an underground park with solar powered optics to light the area, creating a plant filled underground observatory. It seems as though the High Line has created not only new places for parks, but new ideas of how they can be incredibly interesting. I'll see you all tomorrow.